Greetings, this is Pastor Justin Walker with CLC Voice for Thursday, uh, April 16th. Yesterday was tax day. I know it's been extended for us, but it was one of those days that just kind of went by without being demarcated in different ways. And I'm wondering if that's how our lives have been turning. That each day when we wake up, we know we're going to be inside our homes for the majority of the day, at least most of us will. And we're trying to figure out how to live in that space and how to live with the unknowns. Even more, will the church and world open up come May 1st? Uh, that's a question that's on many minds, especially here in the state of Michigan, which is on national news today. Uh, when will things become normal again, and even if they'll become normal? A Harvard study even puts that out to 2022, that things before we get the vaccine and before things will look like they did before. So what do we do as faithful Christians in the midst of all this uncertainty? Well, know that you're not alone. In the history of God's people, we can go back all the way to the Israelites going through the wilderness for 40 years, the Babylonian captivity where all the leaders of the Jewish people were taken away and they were uncertain what to do with the promised land that had been given to them that was no longer there. That's the big Ezekiel saw the wheel, the wheel of the Lord's chariot leaving the temple. We also have the uncertainty of, the, of just this last week that we celebrated in Holy Week, the uncertainty of the disciples. They did not know what to do when Jesus died. They scattered. They were afraid. And even this coming Sunday, we'll be talking about Doubting Thomas. They, the rest of the disciples met in the room with fear. That's not the answer. That's not the answer, folks. Fear is something that, again and again, the angels speak against it. Jesus speaks against it. Do not be afraid, because God is in control, and God is more powerful than all. And I think if we can lean on that, if we can rest into that, if we can build into that, it makes each of our days more meaningful and demarcates for us a real new life, which is present because of our resurrected Lord Jesus. A few happenings at the church, we're getting together different service opportunities, for the Sundays, so people are giving musical offerings to add to our Sunday worship. And then also I wanted to share that the team that's doing the interviewing for the new Minister of Music has been working very hard. In fact, Tuesday night there was a four and a half hour Zoom meeting where we interviewed four candidates. Uh, some candidates are coming back for a second round of interviews and it's pretty exciting. So there's some motion there. And above all, we are a community of believers that have their ups and downs. And in each of these times, I hope that you can find solace in knowing that you belong here. That although our doors may be shut, our hearts remain open. And I think that's an important thing for us today. Shall we close with a word of prayer? Good and gracious God, we thank you for the blessings that you give us. In the midst of life's uncertainties, help us to know that you are the rock which is certain for all. Bless us. Draw near to us. Make your presence known. Heal us from the ails and the tri trials of life. And bring us into the wholeness of the fullness of life which comes only from you. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, we pray. Amen. May God's peace be with you today and every day. Amen.